Hello, I'm Sherry Truler, the founder and one of the lead auctioneers at Red Apple Auctions, a charity auction firm. And today I'm going to give you a little tip as it relates to raffles. I'm a big believer in using visual identifiers at your benefit auctions, and here's why. Let's imagine your setup. You've got 500 people in your benefit auction, and you've got a team of three volunteers, three teams of volunteers, who are going to go sell a $100 raffle ticket for the Lexus that's parked outside. So your first team of two comes into the benefit auction and they see Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, let me tell you about this great raffle. $100 for a ticket and you could win the Lexus that's parked outside. Mr. Smith says, sure, sign me up and he buys a raffle ticket. Team number two then comes through. Mr. Smith, we've got this great raffle. I know, he says, I just bought a ticket. <gasps> okay, thanks for buying. Now team two moves on. Now your third team of volunteers comes into the benefit hall. Guess what? They see Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, would you... I've already bought my raffle ticket, Mr. Smith says. He's starting to get a little annoyed at this point. That didn't need to happen if he would have had a visual identifier. If you have a visual identifier on your people that have purchased the tickets, your guests don't get annoyed because they aren't being constantly asked if they've purchased. Number two, your volunteers know who has and who hasn't purchased, so they can focus on making new sales to people who haven't purchased. And third, it alerts other guests that there's actually a raffle taking place. Mr. Jones, who might be talking to Mr. Smith, will say, Hey, where'd you get that blinky necklace? Mr. Smith says, uh, I, I, I bought a raffle ticket. Jones is like, Oh my gosh, my kids would love that. So now he's more interested in the raffle as well. Easier to sell because of guerrilla marketing. Now, here's three ways that you can use a visual identifier. Three examples that I've seen in auctions. Number one is a simple metal pin. This is very easy to put around a lapel. It's got a fold over on the back that you would use to secure it. Easy to use, simple metal pin. Number two, bracelets. Bracelets are very common. Here we have one. It's cloth. It's got slip knots, so it will adjust the size of the wrist that is going, it's going around. This one was an expandable rubber necklace. I broke it when I was playing around with it earlier, but that's the same concept. And then also you'll see a lot of these as well. Here we've got a whole roll of raffle tickets that can be easily pulled off. This has a sticky on one side of it that you put off, put that around your wrist, you secure it, and boom, you've got your identifier right there, very easy to use. The final way is to use blinky lights. I mentioned earlier about blinky necklaces, I believe. So here's one example of a blinky necklace. Easy to put around someone's, someone's uh, neck. And then the on and off device is on the back. <clears throat> this one, the battery is dead or else I'd show you what it looked like. These are some simple ones too. You can order these in all types of forms and shapes. This one was, uh, I believe, a Mardi Gras theme. This one, they were trying to sell a, a thousand tickets for the car. And again, when you purchase these, there'll be a piece of paper between the battery and the actual, the front of the pin. You just remove that in order to allow the connection to take place and you can have a nice flashy item right there. Very simple tricks and worth the investment in time because you're going to be able to sell more raffle tickets at your benefit auction gala. For more ideas, free ideas, please check out our website. It's redappleauctions.com. While you're there, sign up for our item guide. It's 100 of the best selling items I sold last year at my benefit auctions. It's great for your procurement strategy meetings. I'm Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions.